Alright, Algebra 1, Lesson 43. This one is on least common multiple, which you learned about um, a, a little bit um, the last few years. And then also least common multiples of algebraic expressions, which will be new. Alright, so let's talk about least common multiple. Um, for example, uh, tell me the multiples of 8. Um, 8 times 1, yeah, 8 times 2, two. Yeah. 8 times 3, 8 times 4. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so these are just some multiples of 8. Okay, now if I were going to find the multiples of 8 and 12, um, let's do the multiples of 12. 12, 24, 36, 48. Okay, what is the least common multiples? 24. I'm sorry, 24, yes. 24, so there's not a 12 in here, even though there's a 12 here, and then there's a 24 and a 24. So, the least common multiple of 8 and 12, LCM, equals 24. Now, because these are small numbers, it's easy to find the multiples. Mm -hmm. But when the numbers get large, it's very hard to find the multiples of something. So, they've determined a new method of learning how to do it. So, if I was going to find the multiples of the least common multiple of 18, 81, and 500. <laughs> okay? Now, we couldn't just go 500, 1,000, 1,500, and then do 81 and keep going. There's a new method. So, the method is to find um, all the prime factors. So, we do that by going 18 and coming up with all of our prime numbers. So, help me out with this one. 9 times 2, 18. So, 2 is a prime factor. Okay? And then 3 times 3. And those are both prime factors. So, for 18, we get 2 times 3 times 3. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's do 81. For 81, 9 times 9. 9 times 9 Three times three and, three and then three times three and three times three. So all of these are prime numbers. So for 81, we get four threes. So that is three times three times three times three. Okay? Now for 500, 250 and two. 250 and two. Two is a prime number. 125 and two. 125 and two. Two is a prime number. 25 times five. 25 times five. 5 is the prime number, and then I'm just going to move this up. All we've got left is 25, which is 5 times 5. Okay, so we've gotten prime factors, so I've got 2, 2, 5, 5, 5. So I'm going to write that down. 2, 2, 2, no, 2, 2, 2, and then 5, 5, 5. 2, 2, 5, 5, 5. 2, 2, 5, 5, 5. Okay, so these are all of our... Um, prime factors. Now, to find the least common multiple of this is look at all three of these and tell me what numbers you see. Two, we three, see five. twos, we see threes, and we see fives. Okay? So I'm going to write down twos, threes, and fives. Right? Okay. Now, what you do with the least common multiple, it's kind of weird, is you're finding the most of something once you get to this point. Mm -hmm. So, 2. This one has 1, 2. This one has 0, 2s. And this one has 2, two 2s. So you take the most of whichever one two has the most. Two two. So I'm going to put 2 times 2 for our 2. It's complete. Yep. Now, now let's move to 3. This one has, two. I'm going to circle these. This one has 2, 3s. This one has 4, 3s. And this one has 0, 3s. Which one has the most? Four. This one, four of them. So I'm going to draw four of them down here. Okay? I'm going to put a circle around those. And I'm going to do um, triangles on this one just because I have squares, circles, and triangles. There are no fives here, no fives here, and then three fives here. So which one has the most? Three. Three of them. So guess what you're going to do? Five times five times five. So, we've taken the most of everything, and now you just multiply. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 5, 
which equals, I'm going to do a little bit of, well, I'm cheating, 40,500. 40,500. So what is the least common multiple of 1881 500? 40,500. Aren't you glad you didn't sit here and try to figure out, okay, what's the next multiple of 500? Yep. What's the next multiple of 881? Okay, so this would have been your least common multiple. Okay, now um, let's do a few more of those and then we're going to move to our new learning today. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and skip over. Uh, 43.1 and 43.2, and we're just going to do 43.3 on this. Um, 560, 588, and 1250. Now, if you have small enough numbers, you can find your multiples by going 8, 16, 24, 32. But when they're big like this, you cannot. So let's go on and do this real quickly. 560, um, I'm going to go 10 times 56 because if it has a zero, then 10 will go into it. Okay? And then 10 is 5 times 2, which are both prime. 56, 28 and 2. Okay, or 8 times 7, <laughs> 56. I'm going to leave 7 because it's prime. And then 8 is 4 times 2, 2 is prime. And 4 is 2 times 2. Okay, so we've got 2, 2, 2, and 2, and then a 5 and a 7. So we have 4 2s, a 5 and a 7. So I'm going to write that down. 4 2s, 2, 2, 2, and 2, and then 5 and a 7. So if you were to multiply 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 7, you would get 560. All right, now let's do 588. Can you think of something that goes both into those? Because it's an even number, we know 2 will work. So, 294. how many times will 2 go into 588? What did you say? 294. 294? Yeah. Okay. Let me check it out. Are you correct? Yeah. Yes, you are. Okay, good. 294 times 2. And the 2 is prime. <coughs> so now what will go into 294? Because it's an even number, we can also do 2 again. 172. 147, 147, right? 147 times 2, 2 is prime. Now, because it ends in 7, we won't be able to use the 2. Uh, I just added 7, 4, and 1. 147, 7. I mean, 7. 3 will go into it. Or um, even maybe even a 9. Because 7 plus 4 plus 1 is 12, is that right? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes. So if when you add seven the sum. 7 times 21. 7 times 21, okay. So that'll, that'll work. 7 times 21, 7 is prime. And then 21 is going to be 7 times 30, and both of those are prime. Okay, so now we get 2, 2, 3, 7, 7. Please turn that off. Okay. Two, two, three, seven, seven. Two, two, three, seven, seven. Got it? And then 12, uh, 1250. All right, I'm going to do 125 times 10 because it ends in zero. All right? Okay, and then this is 5 times 2, and both of those are prime. And 125 is 25 times 5. 5 is prime. And then 5 times 5. Okay, I'm just doing this quickly. You don't have to move this quick unless you want to. Okay, so this is 2, 5, 5, 5, 5. So we have a 2 and then 4 5s. A 2 and 4 5s. Okay, so we ask ourselves what numbers do we see? We see 2, four twos. 3s, 5s, and 7s. I'm going to put down here 2, 3s, 5s, and 7s. Okay, twos. We're going to do those uh, squares. So how many twos do I have? I have four here. I have two here, and I have one here. Obviously, which one's the most? When you're finding the least common multiple, you find the most amount of them. There's four of them there. So I'm going to put four of them down here. Two, two, two. Okay, now threes. Zero here, 
one here and zero here. So we're just going to do one. That's my one. Fives. I'm going to do triangles. One five and then four fives and zero fives. So obviously we're going to use the four fives. Okay, that's four of them. And then sevens, um, let's do stars. Okay, we got one here and then two here and then zero here. So obviously we're going to use the two, which would be seven times seven. So now we add or multiply two times two times two times two times, two times three times five times five times five times five times, five times seven times seven to find our least common multiple. And that answer is one, like a million four hundred seventy thousand. Yikes. That would have been horrible to try to find without doing this method. 1,470, I'm sorry, 1,470,000 is the LCM. Got it? Okay, now, this time is you're trying to find the least common multiples and we're gonna be using letters, okay, and numbers. For example, 15, A squared, B, and 10, A, B. Now, we're gonna do this just like normal, okay? For my 15, um, I guess we could use, well, let's just do the method we've been doing, just to make it easier. So 15 would be broken down as five and three, right? Yep. Okay, and that, those are both prime. So I'm gonna put three times five. And then this, see what I'm doing? I'm bringing this down here. Okay, and then this A squared, I'm going to just expand to make AA, A, and then B. Okay, you with me? Now let's do 10. 10 broken down is 5 times 2, and those are our numbers. So 2 times 5, and then A, B. Now, before we move to the letters, let's go and use the method we were using a while ago. Okay, and so what numbers do you see? 2, 3, and 5. 2, three and five. Okay, this one has one, two, and this one has zero, two, so how much one are we going to use? Just the one, two. This one has one, three, and then zero threes, so we're just using that one, three. And then this one has one, five, and this one has one, five, so we're just going to use one, five. So we do two times three times five, which is six times five is thirty. So we get so far for our um, number part, 30 is the answer. Okay, now stay with me. So now we do the same thing to the letters. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have two A's and we have one A. So which one do we have more of? Two A's. The two A's. So we're going to put two A's. We have one B and one B, so we're just going to use one B. So it's 30 AAB, but let's go and write that as 30 A squared B. Got it? And that is your final answer. Okay, let's do a few more of those to make sure you're understanding completely. Okay, um, here's what they're wanting me to do. They're wanting me to find the least common multiple of 4x squared m and 6x squared m. No, x cubed m. x cubed m, yes. Okay, so on the 4, we would get 2 times 2, x, x, m. I'm moving a little bit quicker on this one. For the 6, we would get 2 times 3, and both of those are prime. x, 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 m. Okay? Now, let's just do the numbers. I have 1, 2, and 2, 2's, but this one only just has 1, 2. So which one am I going to use? The 2. The 2, 2's. Good. And then I have 0, 3's and 1, 3. So I'm going to use the 1, 3. So 2 times 2. 4, 4 times 3 is 12. So my number portion of our answer for the least common multiple of the number is 12. Now let's do our x's and m's. This one has 2 x's, this one has 3 x's. Which one has most? 3 x's. And then 1 m and 1 m, 1 m. Got it? Mm -hmm. That's the final answer. Okay? Let me see if this next one's a little bit harder or what's different about it. You know, it looks just like the same. So you would just keep doing the same kind of problems. Okay? That's lesson 43.